Thank you for choosing the Dake SE810 as your horizontal bandsaw. In this video, we'll walk you through the vertical table setup, a blade change, and how to set the saw into an upright position. So the first thing you want to do is always wear safety gear and lock the front casters of the machine. You should also turn the hydraulic valve head control to the locked position before lifting the saw upright. So gently lift up on the saw head until it comes to a stop. And then we'll remove this uh, spring plate and that's really easy to do. We'll just go ahead and uh, take an Allen wrench and put it in there on that little bolt, unscrew that and just let it hang on the machine. And again, you always want to make sure you lock that hydraulic valve before lifting the saw upright. So firmly grip the top handle and slowly push the saw head upward. Next, we'll install the table and you can use the threaded holes to permanently attach the table or in this case, we're just going to use the vice cam lock. You'll always want to make sure you install the upright blade guard for safety. And after you place the stock on the table, lower the upper blade guide to a proper position. And when you're done, just disassemble the table and store the parts in a familiar place. And before returning the saw to its horizontal position, unlock that hydraulic valve head control. Gently lower the saw to a comfortable position to reattach the springs. And lock the hydraulic valve mechanism. We can now reattach the spring assembly and tighten everything up with an Allen wrench. This spring assembly is set at a factory default and it should look something like what you see here. And if it's not, uh, take a look at the manual and also take a look at how it's set up here and you should have no problem. Next, we can go on to blade changes. And first thing you wanna do is just open up the covers. These covers have locking hinges which you can pull back on and that'll just help keep them open and out of the way while you're doing a blade change. Next, we can remove the blade guard and put those parts in a safe place and we can detension the blade. The last step is to move the wire brush away from the blade. Now you can install a new blade into the guides first and make sure the teeth are facing the correct direction. They should be pulling into your stock. Now, after the new blade is installed, we can retension the blade using the indicator and set it to the black line between the yellow and green sections. And before closing everything up, adjust the wire brush with snug contact to the blade. Don't forget to reinstall and always use the blade guard while milling. Well, we hope this video has been helpful for you 
And remember to give us a call if you have any questions about any of our machines. Or you can find us on the web at datecore.com.